Hey everyone, Marcus and Kara, we are finally making another food video. Those of you who don't know us yet, we're here to show you how to live a healthy lifestyle. And breakfast is a very important part of that. That's what we're making today. She's gonna be making her version of breakfast, which is? A deluxe fruit salad. Deluxe fruit salad. I'm gonna show you what I've been making for 10 years, which is a green smoothie, Marcus style. Both these things are really fast, really easy to make because we don't have a lot of patience. We wanna get on with life, doing the fun things. That's another video. And uh, we're gonna get on with the food today. All right, so Kara's gonna be getting on with, did I already say what you were gonna be making? Uh -huh. I'm so embarrassed. So here we go. Kara's gonna go first, making her fruit salad deluxe surprise. Mm, take it away, darling. You're gonna okay. love this. Okay. So it's basically seasonal fruit and cashew cream. Today I have strawberry, kiwi, raspberry, blueberry, mango, banana. Um, I'm also gonna add to the cream when I'm making it, vanilla. This is a non-alcoholic vanilla from Frontier. I also use vanilla pod sometimes if I have it. And I'm gonna sweeten it with maple syrup. Sometimes um, I don't use maple syrup. I, could, I use xylitol or honey or you could use dates, but I think it tastes really good with maple syrup and we're so good at not eating what we're not supposed to eat that it's okay to maybe sneak in a little bit of semi-cooked maple syrup. First I pour all, get all the fruit in the bowl. So we got that. Raspberries, blueberries, mango, and some banana slices. Okay, so that's waiting for this cashew cream. So I have my cashews. They've been soaking for about an hour. I like to use soaked cashews because they absorb the water and then they'll, they'll remain the thickness I originally made it, the cream. If I use um, dry cashews, then um, my cream later that night, the next day, becomes much more thicker because it absorbs the, a lot of the water. So to the blender, I'm going to add two cups of the cashews. A little uh, vanilla, the sweetener, and um, when I make this, I try and make this the night before because it tastes really excellent when it's chilled, when the cream is cold. But if um, I don't make it the night before and I make it that morning, then it's essential that I add ice because this really tastes better ice cold. And then I'm going to add a little water and then blend. As the blender creams the cashews, I begin to slowly add more water. But you don't want to add a lot of water first because then um, your cashews will not cream properly. cashews are all creamed, you got a thick cream like that, then I add enough water to the consistency of um, the cream that I want. So the cream, it's all blended. Now, I'm going to top the fruit with this heavenly cashew cream. I like it really thick like that. So then I add my toppings. I have pomegranate powder here, um, almonds and mulberries are a great topper. Cacao nibs work really well too. This is pomegranate powder. Uh, you can find it in the Whole Foods raw section. And then here's some candied almonds I made earlier. They're just almonds and maple syrup, dehydrated. And 
This is what Marcus and I eat for breakfast almost every morning. Just beautiful seasonal ripe fruit swimming in thick cashew cream. It's so rich, but it's so good for you. The breakfast that I've been making for years and years is a green smoothie. It's the easiest one of all to make. You just whip stuff into a Vitamix and you're done. It takes about four minutes. The basic concept is half greens and half fruit and some kind of liquid. For those of you who don't understand the concept of greens, let me try to help you with this, all right? This is greens, anything green. Spinach, kale, red leaf lettuce, celery, dandelions, parsley, and this stuff on top, not the carrots, this stuff. This is better for you than the actual carrot. You can use just one of these things, like stick a head of red leaf lettuce in there, or you can mix and match different things if you want, like I'm gonna do here. So here we go. Put a little bit of spinach in there, some kale, some red leaf lettuce, some celery. Always, always have at least one stick of celery in your smoothie. It's really high in potassium and electrolytes. At least one stick of celery. Dandelions, they're really bitter, but they're so good for you. You gotta have dandelions, I mean, if you can get them, I mean, go out in your yard and get some. Anyway, dandelions, a little bit of parsley, this is really good for your lungs. This is half full with greens, okay? You can use any kind of liquid. Uh, I, I like to use coconut water when I can, or orange juice, or just plain water is fine too, just some kind of liquid. You want to have at least two cups of water or liquid in here. Some of you are noticing that I have my protein and green formula and you're going, why do you have powders? Isn't this green stuff good enough? Actually, the stuff that you buy at the grocery store, it's, I've already talked about this. It's, it's grown in farm soil, it's been depleted, there's no magnesium left in it, it's very, it, this stuff is wimpy, it gets watered every day. You want to have some wild plants in there which grow roots 150 feet deep. This stuff, even though it's really good for you, it doesn't have half the nutrition that the wild plants have. So that's why I created the wild force formula. So I always put a few scoops of my green formula and sometimes my protein formula in there also. I put like, uh, depends how many people are, maybe a couple of scoops of that. And maybe some protein too. All right, you'll really notice a difference when you do this. Also, some, I put some Udo's oil in there. This is for essential fatty acids. It's really good for you. You don't, if you don't believe in oils, don't do it. You don't have to do what I do, but hey, you want to look like me, this is what I do. And lecithin granules. This is really good for emulsifying fats. Pineapple helps cancel out the bitterness of the dandelion. A frozen banana. I like to use frozen fruit because it gives it that nice cold smoothie texture. I mean, you can use normal fruit, but when you're in a hurry like I am, I like to use, uh, you know, just basically organic frozen fruit. And it's simple, you just grab it and throw it in there. I like to put some cranberries in there because they're nice and tart. Isn't that beautiful? A frozen berry blend. And sometimes I like to put a little bit of nut butter in there too because I work out and it tastes great. Doesn't that look amazing? It's so beautiful. Okay, ready to blend. All right, so I know this is mud colored, <laughs> but it's the best tasting mud you'll ever taste. So I usually drink a glass right there on the spot and then I take these jars with lids on them and I fill those up and then I take this with me wherever I go during the day. The lid on it in the car. This is about every nutritional thing you could ever need in a liquid. It's already pre-digested. It's already been chewed up by the Vitamix. This is pretty amazing stuff, folks. It's so when I'm not having Kara's fruit salads, this is what I'm having for breakfast. And this stuff's I've been taking for eight years and I've been watching myself get younger in the mirror as I go. And I'm sure this is a big part of it. So try this. I mean, it's so fast, it's so easy. Look at this, this is what goes inside you. This is what's in you, it's liquefied. This becomes this. And this speaks for itself. 
right? Half fruit, half green, some kind of liquid. Cheers. You can find more smoothie recipes in my book, Heal Yourself 101. So there's two really easy recipes. This is what we've been living off of for a long, long time. It's made us what we are, and we hope it inspires you to have a similar healthy life. We're making a lot more food recipes, including that cookbook for you guys, so stay tuned. See you next time. Bye.